Hi, my name is Dan Hotman. I'm one of your instructional coaches in the Palm Middle School District. And we're gonna take a look at how to set up your grade book. So as you can see, I'm already in ClassLink and I have all my ClassLink icons in, in these fancy folders. You can do that too, and that's in another video. Um, if you want access to that video, just let me know and I'll send it to you. Let's get logged into Infinite Campus. So I keep Infinite Campus in my PSD folder and there it is, the green Infinite Campus icon. Yours is probably just the green icon on your desktop. And now I'm in Infinite Campus. So a couple things. I have Gradebook set up as a favorite so I can go to it quickly, as well as attendance. And I'll show you how you can mark it as favorite as we go. Um, I'm gonna have more for you to see because I'm an admin in Infinite Campus, so I have more, more clickies, more menus to go through. Um, but where I'm gonna go, all teachers have access to. So I'm gonna come here and go to instruction and I'm gonna go into gradebook. So we talked about that favorites menu. How do I get my gradebook in the favorites menu? And it's right here next to gradebook. Yours probably looks like that. So watch what happens. I'm gonna go and open up that favorites again. Notice gradebook's been removed because I removed the star. If I add it back in, there it is. And now anywhere in Infinite Campus, if I'm in this area, I can just go right to the gradebook or right to attendance or right back to the gradebook. I can go back and forth. Now just for some terminology. So understand that when we're talking gradebook, we talk term, section, and task. Here's what all those mean. Term is the dates that we're living in. Technically speaking, we're living in P1. However, all grades go into S1 for the first semester. So think of it this way. If think about the old days of keeping grade books, an actual grade book, you would have a grade book for the entire semester and you would continue to add to it as the year goes on until you get to the end of the first semester. That's what this is. Progress is only for measuring the progress. So this is where we do progress reports and it'll be in another video a little bit later. So we're only worried about S1. The section, depending if you're elementary, is the subject that you're, that you're trying to do your grades in. So right now I'm in my fifth grade math section. If I'm middle school and I'm teaching general science, Gen Science 6, that is my fourth period Gen Science class. So there's a difference, okay? The task is where the grades go. So work habits or effort would be right there. We don't really use those very much. We usually leave that up to you uh, to hand enter. And that again, that'll be in a different video. We care about the semester grades. So either if I'm in middle school, like I am right now, it'll be semester grade. And when I get into say math, let me go back to uh, my fifth grade math, that will also be semester grade. So that way we're, we're clear on what goes on the report card or on the progress report. It's the semester grade. Now, normally, right next to this blue posted, you would see in progress. We don't have that because our gradebook is not set up. If you do not see that area, your gradebook is not set up. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go to settings, and this menu will pop out, and I'm going to start in categories. Categories can be anything, and you can have it in as many sections as you want. I'm setting up multiple grade books right now. So I'm gonna add a new section or a new category, and I'm gonna call this assessments. So I'm gonna have assessments in elementary for my fifth grade math class. So here's my fifth grade math class down here. So that's fifth grade, S1 means semester one, math. So I'm going to select that one. And the category is going to re remain the same for my fifth grade language arts class. I do assessments in both. So that's fifth grade, semester one, language arts. And I'm also going to come in and do it to my science. So here's my fifth grade science. Oops, nope, that's S2. Be careful. I'm not going to do it for S2. I'm going to do it for S1. And then I'm also going to set it up for my fifth grade social studies or social science. Make sure you're in S1. 
So now I've got all my major categories. I'm going to save those. So there's my category. And then I'm going to close. Now I'm going to go into the grade calc options. This is what tells the system, uh, the Infinite Campus system, that this is the way we grade and these are the grades that we use. So when I click on that, it brings me into the grade calc options. I'm not going to set anything up except S1 semester grade. I'm going to change it from no calculation to in progress. The grades are going to be A, B, C, D, F, and that's all I'm going to do. Now, if you weight categories, then that's something that we can talk about, and that's something that your grade level would need to do. I know some schools kind of have that, have that conversation, but we're talking about just a really basic setup of gradebook. From here, I'm going to go ahead and save it, and what you'll see is now I have in progress. So my gradebook is completely set up now. Um, I don't need to worry about grade skills. I don't need to worry about section groups. I have everything ready that I need. What I will suggest is over here on the left-hand side under preferences is whether you're not you want the sparkline graph, that's up to you. I'm going to leave it on and I'll show you what that looks like. But I would turn on the save alert. What that does is that alerts you that you haven't saved whatever you've entered in and that you want clicked on. So if you enter in grades and you don't save it, it'll stop you and say, please stop. You haven't done it yet. You haven't finished. The other thing I'll tell you is this assignments per page. I would go ahead and turn that down to about 10. That way you'll be able to see all 10 going across the screen and you won't have to keep scrolling as you go uh, through and assignments get lost and it gets kind of muddled. So turning that down means that you'll be able to, to scroll through a little, a little bit better. All right, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and close this. My grade, my grade book now is set up for math. Now, if you remember, I set up categories for all my subjects, language arts, social studies, and science as well. So if I go into my fifth grade science class, let me come all the way down here to my science class. Notice the in progress is not there. I need to do the same setup here with the grade calc options that I did with the math. Oops, I don't want that one. I'm not going to say okay. I just went in progress. A, B, C, D, F, and now I can save. There we go. I need to do that again with my language arts. I shall do it with social studies because I think I'm right here. Whoops. Fifth grade social studies. Again, no in progress. So grade calc options, in progress, A, B, C, D, F, and save. Now, if you were in TK or kinder, uh, you might use one of these, either the progress toward the standard, I'm sorry, the standard IEP goal achievement or the TK. So I'm talking about just straight out for grades, but most likely for TK or even for kindergarten, you're probably inputting your, your grades by hand, but Infinite Campus will work the same way. This is only if you're using A, B, C, D, F grades. And now I can save. There's the in progress. Now from here, if I'm in my math class, let me go back to my fifth grade math. I can, there we go. I can start entering in assignments. So I'm gonna go ahead and add an assignment. And it's gonna pop out over here. I need to fill out anything that has this red star. So I'm gonna call this assessment number one. I'm gonna turn on the visible to class. So what that means is that the class can see it, whether they're in student portal or in parent, parent portal. The date I'm assigning it, I assigned it today. If you want to change the time, you can. I'm going to change it to 8 a.m. So I'm going to say at 3 p.m. I can also choose who I assigned it to. I only have one student, so they're going to get it, but I can, I can reduce who it's getting to. My abbreviation is done automatically. The sequence means it doesn't matter how you put it in, but the sequence tells you by date. So, or, or in whatever sequence you want it to be. So if you keep it at one, it'll use the date to create the, uh, the list in the grading. The categories assessments, I'll talk about other categories here in a second. It's my semester grade and I'm going by points. So I'm gonna say this is worth 10 points. The, mul the multiplier, if you want to weight the assignment, so maybe I want it worth three, 
I can do that. I'm not a big fan of that. I'm going to keep it at one. I don't worry about standard or task. If I want to apply it to other sections, I can do that. And I'll show you how to do that here in a little bit with another assignment. Now I'm going to go ahead and say save. My assignment is saved. I can score it from here if I choose to. So I can put in the student, store, the student score of, let's say he got eight out of 10. Goofy needs to work on his basic math facts. It's automatically marked turned in, but we can also mark it as missing, late, incomplete, cheated, exempt, or you're dropping the score. If you make it exempt or drop the score, the system will, will discount the, the assessment right away or the, the assignment. It'll take it out and it won't score it as part of the overall. So once I'm done there, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. It's saved, now I can close. And I can close and there's the assignment. Now we talked about the sparkline graph. Let me show you what that looks like. As the student gets more assignments, you'll start seeing this spark line pop up like this. Um, that's up to you if you want to use it or not. I'm not a big fan of it. That's just my personal preference, but it's available if you want to use it. Um, and if you have any questions about it, just let me know. The other thing I'm going to tell you too is be really careful about comments in Infinite Campus. Some of them appear on either the portal or they'll appear on the report card or on an assignment. So just be really leery on how you save things in the Infinite Campus. You don't want to be uh, say something that the parent might see that would be not appropriate. So that's putting in an assignment. So I talked about in different sections. So let's say that I am a middle school teacher that I teach science in sixth, seventh, and eighth. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my grade book. So let me add in the category. So I'm going to say that these are my weekly assessments. And I do that in my Gen Science 6, 7, and 8. And those are just for Gen Science. I'm going to go ahead and save those. And I'm going to go ahead and, oops, I don't want to add another one. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And now I'll have my grade calc options. Let me set up my grade calc options for my science class. So I've got this one. And I'm going to do that for my seven. Notice I have to, don't have to do categories. And my eighth. So no different than the elementary that I showed earlier. But let's say that I'm going to have an assignment that I'm going to give to all sections that I teach, or, or at least multiple sections that I teach. I'm going to add an assignment in one of those sections. Assessment, assessment week one, because I said it was a weekly assessment. I don't care about the start date and the end date. That's up to you. The students I'm going to choose, it's a 15-point assessment. Or if I just want to give it an A, B, C, D, I can do that as well. But I'm going to keep it at points. That's easier. And I can add sections. So from here, I can add this assignment by hand to those sections that I am going to give the same assignment to so I don't have to recreate it. So I'm going to give it to Gen Science 6 and 7. So now this assignment is going to get copied to my 6th my Gen Science 7th, and my Gen Science 8th, and I can save it. I can score it from here as, as well. We'll say that Gus Gus Fido got in 11. I'm not going to make any comments, but it's turned in. I'm going to go ahead and save that and close it. But now what I can do, let me close this as well. Now I can come into my Gen Science 7. There's the assignment. I'm going to go ahead and extend that out. Ren 10 on this assignment got a 14 and it's turned in. And I'm going to save that. And now I'm going to go in my Gen Science 6. There's the same assignment. Astro got a 10. Snoopy got a 13. 
And if I want to make any comments, I can do that. If I want to mark it turned in, I can do that as well. Now I noticed that here's my save button. It's bright red. Watch what happens when I come out of it. Let me go to my math class. Actually, we'll just come here to social science and watch what happens. There's the error that tells you, hey, you need to make sure you save. So I'm gonna hit cancel and I'm gonna save. Now, if you wanna have multiple categories, that's perfectly okay. Um, you would just add them here and add them to all the different sections that you wanna do that to. Again, that's up to you. Um, and you would just, as you're creating your assignment, so let me do that for my Gen Science 6. Let me add in a um, monthly project. And I'm gonna do that with my Gen Science 6 class. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. So there's the weekly project. When it's time and I create my assignment, all it's gonna change is I'm gonna give it a name, my weekly project number one. I don't care about date and time. Right here where it's time to pick a category, I can either choose weekly assignment or monthly project. I'm gonna say monthly project worth 100 points. Now I can save it. So now I have the category monthly projects. I can come in and say he got a 95, he got an 82. And what you'll notice over here is that you, the save button hasn't been hit, and now it is. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the EdTech department, and we'd be more than happy to help you out. Or you can reach out to me directly. Have a great day.